Hi everyone, welcome back to the what is STLC course. In this course, we talked about STLC phases at the high level, requirement phase, design phase, development phase. Now, now in this uh, section, we are going to talk about the testing phase. This is very important and interesting phase. Okay, you can see in, uh, this phase, you know, colored in red because in the testing phase, if the testers find that the development design are not meeting the requirements they can say that we are not going to allow it to go to the next phase they can stop it and they can ask very well the developers and the designers to redesign if they don't meet the requirements okay so this phase is very interesting phase let's start uh, understand or know more details about this phase what is the goal of this phase the goal of this phase is to perform software testing based on the functional and non-functional requirements. Okay. So who are involved in this testing phase? Testers, load and performance testers, lead testers, as we discussed based, based on the size of the application, small, medium, large application. In our case, for our, uh, me, uh, our uh, bank example, bank application it's a small application so for that if i need to size i i will say one uh, tester should should be sufficient because predominantly uh, user enters the username password validates it and just shows the bank balance if he is a he is having a he or she is having a account if not just show the message saying that you don't have the bank account or username passwords are wrong so based on our uh, requirements and our sizing of the requirements because we sized it as a small it's a one tester i said okay and uh, let's go back what are the inputs the inputs for this phase are completed software uh, programming or uh, designing means the software is uh, developed as per the requirements and ready to ready for the testing okay so those are the inputs if you see who are involved are different than who are involved here here most pro, uh, predominantly developers and lead developers are involved here testers load performance testers and lead testers so oh, in, a, in our previous phase we discussed about where how many users are there for our small application uh, the requirement is 10 users and uh, 10 users for five days working days and the response time 10 seconds is sufficient right for that 10 users it's not required to do the load and performance testing but uh, it, it is not a bad idea also what happens if 10 users one time start hitting the uh, hit the application whatever the software uh, application that now in the previous uh, phase that the uh, you know development team designed what happens whether the software performs as expected means if two users say user a and user b enters their username and password uh, at the same time when they submit what happens user a gets user b bank details and user b gets user a bank details is it acceptable no right that kind of uh, testing generally will be performed in this testing phase okay so uh, we based on our sizing uh, one tester sh should be sufficient the tester what kind of skills the tester need to have? tester need to have that um, quality focus mind and they should be able to uh, do the manual test means enter the information load and uh, load and performance tests are being performed by there are some softwares like uh, load runner like that there are some softwares who have who has the knowledge we want that kind of a tester we call it a resource also okay we can't we want to have that kind of a resource to test the application the resource should be able to first uh, understand the functional and non-functional requirements and test the application or the software what is the process so based on the requirements and uh, the see what are the inputs uh, for this phase the inputs for this phase are functional and non-functional requirements and also completed software development 
means software that is ready to be tested. So, based on the requirements, functional non functional requirements, the software develop, a, develop and execute unit test cases, integration test cases, load and performance test cases, and also user acceptance test cases. Okay, there are as you can see, there are a lot of uh, there are four types of broadly four types of testing or testings that can be done. One is unit test case unit test case example is like um, user enters means manually the tester manually tester goes and enters username password and hits that use case you remember in the requirement phase we discussed about the use cases here those these are the requirements right those will become the inputs here we take each requirement and write a test unit test case and integration test case you remember here we discussed about in the integration scenario what happens if the user uh, uses google account we don't have that requirement so there is no integration in our banking application but if there is any integration in other applications or in the application that you are working on if there are any integration scenarios then the integration testing will also be performed in this phase load and performance testing as we discussed 10 users what happens if 10 users uh, hit the software whatever being developed uh, how is the system going to perform right i worked with the systems where not only i think let us take facebook example how many users will be there lot right 2. Point some x billion people right so what happens when these people enter their username and password and hit the submit button everybody expected to get their own uh, credentials their own account information it doesn't look good right if i log in i get your details you log in you get my details so that kind of testing will also need to be performed make sure that uh, the account details are coming or uh, going back to the user correctly and also when that kind of information is submitted by the user the uh, software that is being developed in this development phase is performing correctly it will not give uh, okay system is down kind of error and also you remember in the non-functional space we discussed about the response times so just imagine for facebook kind of applications how much testing effort will be going on how many testers will be testing it right so like this so if you go and also uh, this is a good uh, situation to explain the uh, explain the differences between uh, mission critical applications and uh, non mission critical applications okay. bank accounts those are mission critical applications right when a uh, user uh, enters their information if the bank is able to respond back with the correct uh, information that is expected behavior right if they get some other person's information that is not acceptable and in the bank uh, example use case if the response time is 10 minutes is not acceptable whereas in the Facebook case if the public Facebook is not available system is uh, down for seven days yeah I, I worry I can I don't know about my friends uh, so is it can we compare this Facebook with the bank account no not really but of course in the future we don't know given the way people are spending their time on the Facebook it may become that much important going forward after 10 years we don't know how it is going to be but definitely 10 years bank back bank details are important today bank information is important we know that after 10 years also bank information is going to be important so as you can see the contrast between banking application your bank application and your facebook application those two are two different sets of applications right so they will have two different sets of requirements they will have a different set uh, different kind of design they will have different kind of development they will have different kind of testing okay so going back to this uh, you know user uh, we talked about uh, unit test cases integration test cases load and performance test case testing and also what is user acceptance testing you remember here 
during the requirements we have functional and business users so till now till the testing phase they are involved only here right to just give the requirements in this phase they are sometimes this user acceptance testing is done uh, before uh, the application moved to the next phase but sometimes it may not be done but anyway i will add i will update this one with uh, user uh, users also because uh, we are having user acceptance testing so users will we will give beta access means not production just for testing purposes we will give access to the users so that they will log in and they will test whether whatever they listed functional or non-functional requirements are met in the testing phase okay that is called user acceptance testing okay now let's move on to the deliverables what are deliverables in this testing phase completed development development and uh, execution of test cases so before the tests are being executed it's always better to develop the test cases so just write uh, you know no, there are some softwares to manage these test cases test management is also a very good uh, good space if uh, you are a new to this software industry if you want to uh, get into the software industry and start your career you know testing is a good discipline i recommend that a tester will have a holistic understanding of the application they know the application functionality and non functionality because they will be testing that so this may be a good way good phase or good role tester role to start any application so now also if i want to understand any application i will first go and talk to the uh, testers uh, you know who are testing the application because uh, they, they have to be testing the application they may be knowing uh, a lot about the system that's it uh, you know um, they are very resourceful if you just go and join in any project in the middle Uh, you know talk uh, making a tester as a friend is a very good idea okay so back to the deliverables in this del the deliverables in this phase are completed development and execution of the test cases and reviewed and approved test results so testers will have a lot of power generally okay sometimes they can say that if this requirement is not uh, test uh, is not passed this test case be you know i developed this test case assume that uh, going back to our banking example if username and password are wrong if that functionality is not correctly implemented this uh, tester will say that i am not going to approve oh, the software to move to the next fifth phase they can have a lot of power they can negotiate uh, with the development team you know development team leader saying that oh go back and uh, fix it uh, we want to test but sometimes in the real application uh, in the real projects sometimes you know if the application is huge uh, you know people will say that okay let's uh, this is a known issue document it and have a plan to address it and move to the production so that in the next release we can they can fix it okay so those are the two different scenarios you know uh, but predominantly in the testing phase all these things can be done and uh, thanks for watching i will see you in the next video